I just want bounce music to keep on growing and keep on getting bigger and allowing younger artists to be able to walk through those doors and keep on breaking barriers and do the music that they love to do. It's our culture, it's our sound, and I just want it to keep on living on and on. Gospel was the, the foundation and the background where I, you know, love the music and the sound. But, you know, it goes back to the early days of Bounce, the early days of Cash Money and No Limit. Um, all of the feelings of, you know, when I was getting into hip hop, the, from the, the Biggie Smalls to the Tupacs to the Salt and Pepper to the, you know, all of the artists that um, influenced me growing up. Release your anger, release your mind, release your job, release the time, release your trade, release the stress, release your love, forget the rest. I was heavily into gospel. My best friend would always teach me kind of the hip hop side of things, and I would teach him the gospel. So just balancing the two of them, you know, the two sounds of music, that's where I brought it from. When I first started, you know, it was just heavily men in the bounce game. There was very few women, you know, like Cheeky Black, Mia X, Miss T. So when we came in, when Katie came in in 1998, it changed the game because she was the first trans um, girl to come in the game. And then the gays just kind of took over. You know, we had our own vibe. We had our own feeling. God had blessed me already to be a voice in New Orleans. So. I was already known for the choir and, and hitting high notes in clubs on a hip hop beat or whatever kind of song it was, I would remix it right then and there in the club. So it allowed me to, you know, open another door to be able to walk through. I'm happy to be a part of the movement back then, but it's just that grind that kept me going, you know, and when I did the first block party in New Orleans, it blew me away because I said a few words and the girls got on it and then I was starting to buzz all over the city. You know, because it's a subgenre of hip hop. So all of the artists, Lil Wayne, Juvenile, all of them, Soldier Slim, they were actually doing songs that were related to Bounce before they even turned into hip hop. So it has a, a strong connection, even the sounds of Mardi Gras and Indians. Uh, you know, the call and response, New Orleans has a strong relationship between all of those sounds that we put together, even jazz. So it brings us back to who we are and, and as a city, the things that we do and we love music so much, you know. Um, I'm happy to be in, in the game this long and still relevant, you know. Lil Wayne, Juvenile, um, Turk, uh, BG, those boy were, boys were, were doing major things back then. Even Master P and his whole entourage, they was representing and putting on for New Orleans. So they really pushed hip hop forward for us. Get these boxes out my home. I be better on my own. On my one stop calling my phone. Green. Bitch, leave me alone. So Katrina, we were displaced all over the world. And so I was able to um, start rebuilding the sound of Bounce and the sound of, you know, what we do. And people were asking, Where, what is the sound? Where it comes from? Teach me how to dance. And so it allowed the music to spread. I was trying to get back to New Orleans to start rebuilding it because it felt like the community may be lost. We started a FEMA Friday in New Orleans at Caesars and Baby the Lions was down the street around the corner because it was the only club that you can, you know, have that feeling of bounce music. I just started to grind back all over again, start rebuilding my life, rebuilding the sound of bounce music, and it helped spread to many, many people. I just want to represent for my city and for the sound and the culture of New Orleans and bounce music. So it feels really great to expand, you know, it all over the world. I've been grinding at it for a long time for other artists to recognize the sound and my voice. I'm just grateful and humble and very appreciative to all those artists who have collaborated with me. It's a grind for me though. It's a, it's a fun thing that I love to do. I've been doing it since I was a young, you know, adult. And for it now to finally be known all over the world, it's a great, great feeling.